The self-driving car? Yeah. Lots of press around that and DARPA. How, what's the story there? Oh, so it's, it's, it's a lovely story, actually. So and I, it goes, <clears throat> excuse me, goes really to the heart of how uh, DARPA works. So there were uh, um, hor horrible footage. If you ever see this footage, and somebody offers you, please don't see it, of these poor young 18 and 19-year-old uh, kids, basically, in convoys in Iraq and getting hit by IEDs, and they'd be in a fuel truck, and, and it's just horrible burns. But the one thing I'll tell you, if you see anything like that, and you feel that you have any technological capability to fix it, you have a moral obligation to fix it. And so DARPA sort of rallied, like, this has to stop. And the DOD went down a very conventional path that made a lot of sense. Well, we'll up-armor the vehicles, right? So there's a lot of talk. Better armors, make it stronger. And it takes DARPA to sit back and we went, or don't put anybody in the car. Uh, and everybody laughed at us. And they said, what, what self-driving self vehicles? And we're like, sure. We had no idea this what could work. So this was maybe 2004, I'm going to say, okay. but I don't know. Google it up. Someone, you can correct me after. So we ran the first challenge, right? And we, we have ambitious goals. DARPA is all about putting a flag up on the mountain and just seeing what happens. So we said, we're going to have a car, and it's going to go 144 miles through the desert with no drivers, no remote control, the whole thing. And the press came, and the, the furthest any car got was seven miles. <clears throat> and everybody laughed at us, and uh, we laughed at ourselves a little bit. Um, and it was funny, and it was actually, we talked about it, though, and we said, you know, one way to look at that is that's a colossal failure. The other way to look at it is seven miles. That's more than anyone else has ever done. We put the problem back out to the world. 18 months later, we run the second challenge. The car that did the worst did more than seven miles. Ten cars finished it. The guy who won it is a man named Sebastian Thrun. Sebastian Thrun now goes to Google, and if you have Google cars and driverless cars, that'll, that's the origin of it. Now, the commercial aspects and making it all awesome, that'll be Sebastian and Google, and, and that's how we partner with them. Our job is to sort of take the technological risk off the table, but that's a huge step between that and a, and a product you get, and that's where the commercial companies come in and do uh, amazing jobs.